This video is part of the Control of Microbes lab. This video will particularly deal with the setup of Kirby Bauer tests to assess the sensitivity of a bacterium to antimicrobial agents. We will follow the standardized procedures for this setup to ensure reliable results. We begin with a pure culture of a bacterium that we will inoculate onto the agar plate containing 4 millimeters deep of Müller-Hinton culture medium. There is one standardized way that we can inoculate the plates according to the American Microbiological Society. We use a broth culture like this, diluted to match a 0.5 McFarland turbidity standard to inoculate the plates. The culture should be actively growing. Before you start, label the plates, make three marks on the plate at six, two, and 10 o'clock to allow you to rotate the plate and cover it evenly. Open the end of the sterile cotton swab pouch to allow easy access to the swab handle when you need it. Turn on the Bunsen burner. Now secure the culture tube in one hand. Unscrew the cap, holding the cap with your pinky finger. We flame the mouth of the tube a few times to warm the glass, which will create some air currents that exit the tube, reducing contamination. Take the sterile cotton swab with the hand holding the cap, insert the cotton swab into the broth, press the swab against the glass inside the tube to remove excess liquid. Lift the lid of the plate only enough to be able to insert the cotton swab. Do not take the lid off. Take the swab and cover the surface of the agar evenly by moving in both directions, making a tight zigzag. Rotate the plate one third of a turn. Cover the surface of the agar as evenly as possible, just like before, keeping the lid as a shield. Rotate the plate another third of a turn. Cover the surface of the agar as evenly as possible, just like before. Then run the swab around the edges to remove any excess liquid. Discard the swab into the biohazard container. Turn off the Bunsen burner. Let the plate stand for about three to five minutes to let the surface of the agar dry. We will prepare one plate for E. coli and one plate for Staphylococcus aureus to assess the sensitivity of bacteria to antimicrobial agents and also to different types of chemicals that may be used as antimicrobial agents some disinfectants and antiseptics commonly used in household and healthcare settings. This is an antimicrobial impregnated disc dispenser. You can see the stacks of discs inside individual cartridges. Each cartridge is labeled with the antimicrobial contained in them. This model machine dispenses by pressing the plunger in a motion from the top down. The plunger should travel down smoothly and make this click clack sound, not like something is stuck or cracking. If it freezes, do not press harder. There is something wrong and it needs to be inspected. Now that we know how this dispenser works, it is time to apply the antimicrobial discs on the plates. Working with one plate at a time, place inoculated plate on a flat surface. Lift the lid of the plate, hold it with your hand. Take the dispenser and place it over the inoculated plate. Press the plunger down once to dispense antimicrobial discs onto the agar surface. Lift the dispenser off the plate. Touch each disc on the plate with sterilized tweezers to ensure complete contact with the agar surface. If they didn't lay flat, push the disc gently to ensure contact with the agar surface. Do not relocate any of the discs, since the antimicrobial agent begins to diffuse as soon as, as it comes in contact with the agar. Once all discs are in place, we place the lid back on the plate and let it stand for a few minutes. This will allow the dry disc to adhere to the surface of the agar. Then seal the plate with parafilm, invert the plates, and place them in a 35 degrees Celsius incubator for 16 to 18 hours. 